5G and slicing can help telcos deliver new outcomes from the telco enterprise edge to the multi-cloud across practically every industry, including broadcasting. HPE's Athir Sabdi, video solutions architect, joins me to discuss HPE's broadcasting as a service platform. Welcome, Athir. Thank you for having me. So, what are some of the challenges that broadcasters and media teams are having? One of the uh, major uh, challenges here is basically the uh, agility. Uh, most often the broadcasters will have the uh, team of uh, the broadcast event uh, available at the time. So we're talking about the producers, the uh, um, 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 writers, the graphics operators, uh, graphics de designers, but then most often they are not available at the right uh, uh, location. And so this is like one of the uh, major challenges. The other challenge, of course, is the cost and, uh, of course, the logistics. And so uh, uh, for smaller events, uh, most often those uh, um, uh, producers of these events will basically have to uh, rent equipment. These are very costly. We're talking about the outside broadcast vans, uh, rent even the uh, upstream for the uh, uplinks for, for the uh, um, uh, satellites. Um, then also uh, the uh, cost of the staff that are traveling uh, to and from these locations. So those will be prohibiting those uh, broadcasters from covering uh, smaller events. So what is HPE's solution? Well, uh, what we offer is basically uh, a business-to-business, -business, 5G-enabled um, um, platform uh, as a service or broadcast as a service that will allow those uh, uh, producers and uh, editors and graphics operators uh, to collaborate in the cloud and basically uh, using the 5G uh, uh, slicing so now they can contribute content, they can uh, work on these contents in the cloud, and then they can uh, also, using these 5G slices, uh, connect the uh, production sites and the distribution sites, and then that will make the uh, broadcast faster and then uh, much simpler than uh, ever before. So you, you said uh, faster and simpler, but what are some of the other benefits of the 5G-enabled media production? Right, so um, the other benefits, of course, is the uh, collaboration. So basically those uh, uh, team of, uh, uh, you know, coming from the broadcast uh, industry or the production industry, they can uh, collaborate together. Uh, they can produce these contents uh, uh, in, in a very agile mode. Uh, they can also, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, basically work around these uh, geographical barriers. Uh, and then have uh, everything ready in the cloud in a remote and collaborated and synchronized um, um, uh, fashion so they can produce this uh, content in, in, in the cloud. Can you show me how it works? Yeah, absolutely. So if you don't mind, just go ahead and push that play sure. button. So here we are talking about uh, broadcast as a service and this is an actual uh, deployment for uh, a magazine. So what happened is that there was uh, a gaming event and then the uh, producer of that event, they wanted to uh, go live online, uh, basically with some uh, linear uh, traffic or live content and also some uh, video on demand. Of course, they realized that this will be costly if they go the traditional way, and then they decided to go with a broadcast as a, uh, as a service uh, solution, which uh, we helped them with. So everyone was working from home, from uh, producing uh, the content, basically to the audio vision and mixing, and then uh, all the way to uh, publishing the content. So here's the Media Workflow Master. Uh, that is a product from HPE that is uh, working as a, a digital asset management and they used it just basically to upload the content so we see the producer uploading the content choosing the right uh, format of the content here they are uploading some video content um, basically once that happened then it will be published in the uh, uh, digital asset management uh, and then basically um, they will be able to uh, uh, see a preview which is a, a lower resolution of the video uh, we call it the proxy and then they will be able to uh, basically edit that uh, version if they want. Um, after that, they will also be able to uh, gather the uh, content uh, from uh, uh, a member of the community. So they kind of uh, floated the idea that, that 
uh, we will um, basically do a contest and then we need the contributors or the members of the gaming community to upload content and here is we see one of them uploading the content from their mobile devices and contribute to the show and then the winner uh, the best uh, content uh, uh, publisher basically will be picked by the producer to go live with them uh, for that uh, social uh, online uh, uh, basically program and so we see now uh, it's as easy as just uploading the content the social producer will be notified that there is a new content uploaded uh, the uh, uh, producer will be able to spot the publisher uh, on a Google map if the uh, uh, member allows them to track, the, uh, track uh, the, the, the location through the system. Here we see uh, the content uh, being published by one of the uh, members of the gamer community. Um, we, uh, the system has uh, an artificial intelligence behind it, so we can rank those uh, content uh, uh, pro, you know, contributors in terms of different KPIs, and we will talk about it in a uh, couple of seconds from here. Uh, then they will be able to um, as well export these contents to a play out. So basically they will be preparing the, uh, uh, the, the sequence of the show that they want to go through. Uh, and we see here now uh, they publish uh, the content, they pick the content, uh, they go to uh, the master copy of the content, not the proxy that we talked about, and then just um, simply just go with a work order. That work order will be uh, a publishing uh, the content to a play out system. Then uh, it will be prepared uh, and will, it will be part of the schedule of that program. And so we will see here the uh, producer as uh, easy as just drag and drop this content that has been previously uploaded by a member of the community. Now we can just uh, play the content, make sure that this is the right content, and then uh, before uh, publishing it and go live uh, with the event. So it's really simple. Uh, here is an, another use case where we are uh, basically focusing on hey, the producer at the time, and this is a real event happened, that the, the, the reporter said, I cannot really go on, uh, to, the, to the location. And so the producer had to uh, uh, rely on the contributors, the members, to basically be the reporters on the ground and start uh, bringing them online by having them contributing contents uh, to the uh, online uh, uh, live event. And so here we see the, the artificial intelligence system that we talked about. The system uh, will basically uh, uh, have the capability to rank those uh, members based on some predefined KPIs like number of followers uh, on their social media platforms, how many contents they are uploading into this pl platform, um, basically what kind of contents they are uh, also uploading, uh, and other um, uh, basically KPIs that uh, can be predefined by the uh, producer. Of course, uh, you can also add some weightage to them. So you say, okay, it's 50%. Uh, uh, um, the importance for, for the producer is uh, the followers, versus 70 percent for example the content itself and so forth and so uh, so on and um, even the producer can um, basically promote people by allowing them because probably they, they, the producer knows those people so they, they, there is a possibility also for an um, you know like a manual interaction where they promote people over others and here we see now uh, they spotted the the, the um, uh, contributor they got them uh, on uh, you know online and now um, you know, hit the live event uh, button and then everyone is, is, is happy because everyone is working from home and everything is in sync, um, real time, and then here we go live on a Twitch. Fantastic. Athir, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you, appreciate it. Thanks for having me.